So, you want to move to Hawaii, change your name to Jose, and create an entire business that's based off of NFT drinks? Well, who's stopping you? Hey guys, welcome back to Touch My Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to create an animated uh, color ramp node kind of set up here and we've done color ramps before i love the color ramp node i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that uh, i have a specific tutorial on how, tutorial on how to animate said color ramp node because I've, I've gotten this comment a couple of times and i just recently got it again um so we're gonna go ahead and do it this do this real quick today so i'm gonna put my cursor in the top left hand or the top right hand side of the screen until it turns into a little plus icon and then click and drag until it splits in half like that there you go and we're gonna go ahead and uh, click this little button right here to change the editor type from 3d viewport to shader editor Boom, I'm going to get rid of this by clicking and dragging it away. And now with the grid uh, hidden, I'm going to hit this little button right here and make sure that we're on material mode instead of solid viewport shading. Um, we're going to hit this little drop down and select material. Or you can hit new, either way. I'm going to name this color ramp. Nice, in all capitals, because why not? I'm not saying color ramp, I'm saying color ramp. Nice. Now, let's go ahead and hit shift A and we'll search shift A once again uh, to search for a color ramp ramp node boom hit enter put that bad boy right there and as you can see when i plug this into the base color of the principal bsdf it won't look like much much changes it gets slightly darker because what's happening is here is that we're mixing these two colors which is black and white and the the color that this monkey is choosing to uh exude is the direct center of this so it's not, it's more gray than it is white because obviously it's blending black and white together so we can change the position um, uh, we can change the position. We can change the factor. So make, we can make it all the color on the right. We can make it all the color on the left. Um, let's put this back to 0.5. And really quickly, now that we have that basic color ramp uh, description down, um, we can go ahead and open up our timeline a little bit. Change my start frame to zero. Go to the zero frame. And then now we can have two different colors here. Let's go ahead and I want to um, make sure that this little linear is maybe set to constant. We'll do something kind of cool here. I'll drag the white color back, and just so we can see what's happening here, I'm going to hit Shift A, and we'll search for a noise texture, noise texture, plug the color into the factor of the color ramp, and now you can see, looks like we have like some kind of cow here, or some kind of cool like animal print thing going on, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to change the colors from black and white, because that's not too fun, we're going to change it uh, to maybe like a blue, like this, just click at this little box down here, click this little arrow, and then we can change this color now. Um, we'll change this into like yellow. So blue and yellow, complementary colors, gorgeous. You'll love to see it. You can add in more colors by this little plus button. We can add in like a black color in between oops, in between the two of them, like this by just dragging it up. So it looks like it has kind of like an edge, a comic book edge or something like that. Very also cool. Uh, but I think I'm going to get rid of that for now because I like the way that it was before. There you go. Nice. Now we want to animate this. Maybe we want to move the position. Maybe we want to move the color. Make change the color. Sorry. So the way we do this is just like the way we animate anything else in Blender. So hover our cursor over top of the position and hit I in inside of the uh, little box here. It'll turn yellow, which means there's a keyframe on that. When you move off of it, it'll turn green, um, and that means that uh, there's not a keyframe on this specific frame. So the way we fix that is by clicking and dragging this into a new frame. Um, which isn't going to do too much because we're on blue. Let me undo that and go to yellow. Sorry, I apologize. So blue's not going to change because it's way back here and we have it on constant. So only the yellow is going to change what, looks, what this looks like. So let's go ahead and hover our cursor once again. Hit I on frame zero. Go to frame 60 or something like that. And then move the keyframe until it's like all the way gone, which is about maybe 0.7. Hover your cursor. Hit I. Now you can see when we play this, um, the color goes away, which is really cool. Looks like some kind of you know, effect that the X-Men would do or something. Uh, very, very cool. Like a mystique looking kind of uh, thing going on here. If I change, if I literally change this to pink, it looks like mystique. mystique. That's very cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, so very cool stuff. Um, now the way to change the color is once again, the same exact process. So let's go ahead and I want to change the blue color after this. So on frame 60, we'll go ahead and you ch uh, click the blue color, hit his little box, hover our cursor over top and hit I, enter the keyframe. And then on frame 100, we can change this color to maybe like a white color desaturate there you go hover our cursor over top of the box hit i and now you can see when we play this that goes away and then this color changes to white very cool stuff and then we make our in frame 100 and i can see that is how you animate a color ramp node in blender 3.0 eevee there you go ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next tutorial super easy stuff hope you learned something new today i will see you in the next one but until then Bye-bye.